the cultural integration is very difficult. And I had a lot of this experience at Mako where we were bringing robotics and AI into the operating room. And there was terrible fear. Um, actually, I'm going to go through that just for a second, because what really overcame the fear at Mako was, I think half of Silicon Valley watches 2001 and thought we should build hell. Right? But I was like a Star Wars geek, and I'm like, what is the metaphor that people are built in understanding? Like R2 and 3PO, they helped you. They weren't trying to take over the world. They weren't killing people. They were sort of like the helpers. Uh, and we designed a robot that really was influenced a bit by R2 as much as we could. Um, and it collaborated. And it became a team member. And it had its place. And its place wasn't big. It was small. And instead of taking away a job, it added jobs. Instead of like reducing the economics of hospitals, it added to the economics of hospitals. And the interesting thing I could tell you guys today is like there was a huge proof point. Uh, and the proof point that I was trying to tell people back then, but they didn't believe me, and now it's there 100% is that people now have parties with their robot. They have birthday cakes. They name them everywhere around the world. There's like thousands of sites. So to me, it was like this interesting arc that I can now look back and say, look what happened. Now, there's an arc of AI that can work this way, where AIs can find their way into businesses in this like small, friendly, cooperative way, right? much more decentralized, democratic way. Welcome to 